Hello friends and welcome to Paris, a very cold Charles de Gaulle airport. And I'm in this, it's kind of known as the hamster bowl. I'm here for work, working at Men's Fashion Week in Paris, which is quite exciting. Yay! So this is us, this is Etienne. Bonjour Etienne. Bonjour. So we're just leaving the airport now. So the reason I'm in Paris, it's Paris Men's Fashion Week and I am working with MAC Cosmetics, which is quite exciting. I'm doing an Instagram takeover of their global accounts today at the Kenzo and Paul Smith shows. So we're gonna be going behind the scenes with all the MAC team, and then I'll be taking my seat front row. So it's, uh, it's quite exciting. I used to live in Paris, actually, years ago, but I haven't been back here in quite some time. So looking forward to kind of having a look about, uh, catching up with some old friends while I'm here, and also, it's my first time at Paris Fashion Week Men's. So, uh, a lot of firsts, so it should be fun. We've just arrived. Not too shabby, is it? And just in front of us, literally just in front of the hotel, is the Opera Building, which you can't see there, but I'll show you a little bit later on. So this is my room. It's pretty sweet. Staying at the Intercontinental, just beside Opera. Balcony here, and then you can see that's the view. This is this. Go on. TV, bathroom, everyone's bathroom, little balcony off there, hey. and some nice artwork. Hey friends, it's Darren Kennedy here. Welcome to Mac Backstage. We are in Paris for this man. Yeah. So Paul, how are you feeling? Okay, yeah, no problem. Uh, I think we've got yeah. like about an hour to go and uh, I think we're pretty organized and uh, we're here in the Ecole de Beaux-Arts in Paris and uh, it's a, uh, the last time I showed here was 10 years ago. And it's the first show I'm doing with men's and women's together. So normally women's in London, men's in Paris. Less but, pressure or more pressure? Uh, this time probably a little bit more complicated. Smith show which was brilliant the first time that he's ever shown his men's and women's we're now navigating uh, fashion week Paris traffic I've got great company here with Charlotte yeah <laughs> you see that we're backstage at Kenzo and oh my god check that out all the backstage is actually front of house so everyone can see this the show is ginormous there's 80 models in total 40 men 40 women look at the girls and we've even got seamstresses Hey girl! Oh, a grand piano! So pretty! Good morning! Absolutely loving being back in Paris. I used to live in Paris. I haven't been back here in probably five years, but check it out. Like This is just outside my hotel. Just look at that streetscape. It's all so chic. Yeah, for today's look, well, at least my first look today, it's kind of camel tone, so keeping it really easy, uh, really deconstructed, slightly sporty. See, I'm wearing my joggers, this little kind of camel shade bomber. And so my Paris trip comes to an end. It was all too quick, but it was absolutely fab. I'm back in the car now on the way to the airport. Uh, it was like a real speed, 48 hours, and I have to say, the highlight for me was the Kenzo show. I just thought it was incredible. They, for the first time ever, backstage was actually part of front of house, if that makes sense. So the stage and where the makeup and the hair and all the fittings was done actually took up the very center of the catwalk. So everything was vi visible to the audience, to the crowd, and it just brought a real sense of kind of the actuality of what happens at the fashion show, and um, just, it kind of heightened the energy. It also helped that they had a, like, pianist uh, hoisted up on some sort of platform in the middle of all the activity, playing some amazing tunes. And Paris has been its absolute gorgeous self. I have to give a shout out as well to Charlotte from Mac, who uh, was just an absolute dream to work with and so much fun. So yes, I'm on my way back to the airport and uh, Paris, it had been too long and I'll be back soon. Over and out.